So, the battery on your £1,000 iPhone is utter sh**. But have no fear, Apple have just brought out their smart charging case for iPhone XS, XS Max and XR. At £130, is it worth it? Let's find out. So hello everyone and welcome to the first video on Taylor Talks Tech. For the purposes of this review I got the iPhone XS phone case uh, just to test out whether it will work with the iPhone X. So looking at build quality, the case is made from the usual silicon that iPhone cases are usually produced in. The case is hefty so when applied to the phone it's weighty but not ridiculously so. The inside of the case has the usual luxury felt feeling which is used to protect your phone from scratches and I have to say this feels very nice. The case is relatively slim and doesn't add too much bulk to the phone. Something I find off-putting on most battery cases. One difference in design is on the back of the case. Previous generations have included a bump in the centre. This year's model provides a bump which continues to the bottom of the case. It's personal preference but aesthetically I prefer this design and it feels good in the hand. The case offers a real grippy surface to hold your phone. But be aware that the silicone does like to suck up all the dust and rubbish whilst in your pocket. This case has a lightning port for charging and the use of the lightning headphones. Unlike previous generations of this case, this model is equipped with Qi charging capabilities. So placing your phone on a compatible Qi charger will charge both the phone and the case simultaneously, which is a nice touch. One of the benefits of using an official Apple charging case is the integration with iOS, which means that you'll see battery life highlighted on the widgets page and on the notification center, which is particularly handy given that the case has no LED indicator. So this is something which is usually typically included on charging cases, but the software integration with iOS means that this isn't necessary. Apart from that, it does what it says on the tin adding up to 37 hours additional talk time and additional 20 hours surfing the web. The case offers some level of protection to the phone with a raised edge around the bezel of the phone but ultimately I would still say just don't drop your phone. Now one of the main questions has been whether this case is compatible with the iPhone X but the similar form factor of the phones iPhone X and iPhone XS means that you can use the case with the X. The camera cutouts fit fine and despite the speaker grills not aligning due to the difference with the 10 and the tennis design, audio is not blocked and works perfectly fine. So looking at value for money, come on this is Apple, so £130 for a battery case? It's crazy but not unexpected. Whether it's value or money for not, let me put it this way, how many times have you gone out for the day and by about 4 in the afternoon you are frantically delving into the settings to put the, on the power saving mode and trying to find other ways to prolong your battery? If this is quite often the case for you, then I would say, yeah, look at getting them. And of course, if you're an Apple fanboy who just buys everything that Apple produces, no, I have no idea what you're talking about, then yeah, you're going to be buying this. In back, is this case really worth £130? Having had a quick look on Amazon, you can get very similar battery cases for around £20 to £30. And they all do pretty much what the official Apple case does. So in conclusion, it's a great case, well built, as you'd expect from Apple. It comes down to whether you want to pay the Apple Premium to have the Qi charging capability and the integration with iOS. Ultimately, I would recommend you look at alternatives on Amazon. Now thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and comment down below. And if you like the video, please subscribe as I'll be making more content going forward. See ya.